Nearly three years ago, I began my campaign for president right here in Pittsburgh, the first major stop I made. I, I said back — I said back then I was running to restore the backbone of America, the middle class. It's time we began to build this country from the middle up and the bottom out so that we — I've never known when a wealthy person didn't do well when the middle class was doing well. We always do better when ordinary, hardworking people have a shot. After I accepted the party's nomination in August of 2020, I came to Mill 19 for my first major campaign stop. And I laid out my vision to build a better America, with better pay, greater dignity for the working people who are the ones who built this country. I often hear about how — who built the country. Guess what? The middle class built this country, and unions built the middle class. And folks, Making it in America with American manufacturing and easing the financial burdens on millions of families, that's the same vision I laid out once again when I was here in Pittsburgh when I after I'm the first stop I made after I was sworn in as president. Now, after my first year, I wanted to come back to Pittsburgh. This is my third time here in this facility. And to take stock of what we've accomplished together, and look forward to the extraordinary opportunities that lie ahead for Pittsburgh and America if we continue to do our job. From day one, every action I've taken to rebuild the economy has been guided by one principle — make it in America, like we used to. No one knows that better than all the folks here in Pittsburgh, and that's why it matters so much. Making it in America is what built this city, the steel city, the arsenal of democracy during World War II, when Pennsylvania generated as much steel as Germany, Japan, and Italy combined right here in the city of Pittsburgh. 